My name's Dane, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I'm going to show you a render I did in SolidWorks Visualize, and then explain the modeling process I used. This video is a render of a kinematic motion study performed in SolidWorks. Looking at this model, which direction would you guess the balls will roll when I play this video? The only loading on the model is the force of gravity, and that's in the direction normal to the square face of the base plate, the one with the arrow on it. I'll give you a few seconds to really think about it. From this perspective, it appears the balls are rolling uphill. No, I did not cheat the motion simulation. Let me play another render, which will reveal the secret. This optical illusion was the winner of the best visual illusion in 2010, and has been trending on the internet ever since. After I saw it, I had to try and make it inside of SolidWorks. I did a quick Google search to try and find some equations or dimensions to start this forced perspective illusion, but ended up finding some flat patterns. I thought to myself, this could work using SolidWorks sheet metal as long as there's no folds upon folds. So I downloaded the patterns to take a look. The instructions seemed simple enough and there were no folds I could not do in SolidWorks, so I jumped right in. The first step was to import the pattern into a sketch. The sketch picture tool was designed just for that, and once I had my flat pattern image in the SolidWorks environment, I began tracing the lines. I decided to use construction lines for the bends so I can easily identify them later when I need them. When working with sheet metal, you can design folded parts and generate a flat pattern, or start with flat stock and bend into the folded state. We're going to do the latter for this design. With my sketch traced, I can now use the closed contour to make a sheet metal tab. For the thickness, I chose 0.05 millimeters and a bend radius of half that. This was my best approximation of a standard paper stock. The next step was to use the sketched bends tool to start folding the paper. I started a sketch on a face of the sheet metal and used the Convert Entities tool to grab the bend lines from the original sketch. With these lines, I can do all the bends in one operation and see the final shape of this column. I repeated this process for all the individual parts within this part file to create a multi-body part. The end goal is to create an assembly so I can run a kinematic motion study to push in to visualize. So, I have to use the save bodies command to make all of the bodies in this part file their own unique part, so I can then use them in an assembly. Using the standard mating tools and following the pattern instructions, it was easy to create the assembly. A coincident mate is the easiest glue to use. The next step was to create the motion study. It has contact sets between all the balls and the ramps and the acceleration of gravity downward. After the study is run, the Visualize add-in is used to import the motion study into SolidWorks Visualize. I used Visualize to add materials and change the lighting, which is the extent of my rendering expertise. The camera placement and dynamics are all brought in from the SolidWorks model, so the final step is to start the render. Visualize lets you utilize the computer's GPU, CPU, or a mix of both to speed up render times. I took this a step further and created a Visualize Boost cluster, which allowed me to use the hardware of multiple machines to render my project. This was surprisingly easy to accomplish, and the computers only needed to be connected to a common network and have Visualize Boost installed. I used three computers to run my render, which allowed it to solve about three times faster than my single computer alone. In today's video, I showed you the steps I took to create this visually stunning video using SolidWorks. I went from a flat pattern plan all the way to a motion study, and finally to a photorealistic render with SolidWorks Visualize. I hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching.